At the end of the last video, we realized that we had left something out of our XML serialization of our drawing, mainly that our transform did not actually serialize its children. So we need to add that in, and then we need to start working on the code to deserialize the XML that we've written out. It'll probably take more than one video to do. So this was the output of what we had at the end of the last time. Now note that the spacing on this isn't necessarily what a human would like to have, but personally, I care much more about the spacing in the code. I want these things to be tabbed in. I could untab them and then you know, that would be uh, make the XML look better. But I don't expect humans to actually be looking at this XML much. The, the XML is just a saved format. So inside of here, we need to write out all the children. We had left that out previously. So underscore children. And all I need to do is have each one of them produce its XML. So I can just map of underscore dot to XML because we've put a to XML in all of our drawables. And that should cause all of the children to create their own XML output. And now we'll run this again and we will try adding two things. I went with last time went with a rectangle. a rectangle which we made into a different color I'll pick something different this time and then a text and we change the text a little bit so that that would be more interesting and then we saved it I'll save it in drawing 2 again okay and this should Refresh. Okay, that looks better to me. We have a transform, we have a rectangle, we have a text. So we're writing out our XML. Now we have to deserialize this. We have to take the XML from the file, we need to load it back in, and we need to get back these various types. So how are we going to do that? Well, I believe that we had a to-do up here for where it's supposed to happen. So clearly the first thing that we're going to have to do is we are going to have to load in the file. So our XML data is xml.xml. load file and I can actually pass it just the file itself. That will load it in. Now we have to build a drawing from it. Well, there is a certain style in Scala for making new objects from things, and that style is to use an apply method. So if I want to make a new drawing, then, and remember what we want to finish off with here is the drawing that was loaded in, it seems like it would fit Scala style to be able to say drawing and pass it the XML node. And that's exactly what we're going to do. It's just we have to write the code to make that happen. For that to work, Still not certain why the editor is unhappy with that. For that to work, we need to make a companion object for drawing that's going to have an apply method in it. And this apply method is going to take an XML node and return a drawing. Now, note that I am using names xml.node through here as opposed to just node because just node is the type that we have or and we have also have a Scala FX node so I'm going to be specific about it and the XML node is fairly short to type uh, but I can't have both of them just be called node uh, because that would lead to ambiguity okay so what is in this node that's passed in well our drawable at this point has, or our drawing has one thing inside of it, which is a drawable actually, and then it should also have the vars. So we need to read this and we need to read that. Okay. So val, and when we construct one of these, uh, we pass it a root, or actually we don't pass it roots and vars right now. Um, in fact, that is going to be a problem, isn't it? Because we need to have, we either need to make this so that it's a private var, 
so it can be set or we have to make it so that when we build our drawing this can be provided okay root is a draw transform and so that it doesn't break our other code I am going to give it a default value so if we don't provide a root for it it will just build one of its own so root equals something and vars equals something and then we're going to build and give back a new drawing of root and you know what I think I just want to move vars up as well and make it so that it can be provided at the time of construction also in which case I'm going to change my spacing there a little bit so this is vars is a map of string it's a double with a default value of an empty map of string to double oh that's going to cause an interesting challenge there our draw transform when we build the draw transform we have to pass it a drawing and is that currently that is a val on here um, that is going to okay never mind we are going to move both of these back down into there and I am going to make this a private var the issue here is otherwise we have a circularity I can't make a drawing without uh, or I can't make a draw transform without having a drawing and I was making it so I couldn't make a drawing without having a draw transform and obviously that's not going to be happy so instead what I'm going to do down here is I still make the root I still make the vars and then I'm going to make a new drawing which takes no arguments but then I'm going to say d dot root equals and in fact I guess I could just do it this way d dot root equals something d dot vars equals something and then we give back d okay so is that underscore vars yes it is okay so we need to figure out what to put in here for these question marks to complete this apply method and the setting the graphics context should happen kind of by default in the outside code because this doesn't know about a graphics context how do we set the root how do we set the bars I'm gonna start with the bars because that one's actually a little bit easier the format that we did was we have a whole bunch of things that have there are elements that have the name vars so I should be able to take my node here and look for vars inside of it and that will give me all of the different elements for vars and for each one of those I need to pull out the attributes for key and the attributes for value and then you build tuples out of those and build a map so turns out that I'm going to use map here and I'm going to call this V because it's for one var and V is an XML node let's go ahead and use the curly brace and put this across multiple lines so what do I want to do with V well I'm gonna say key is equal to V at key dot text and value is equal to v at value dot text to double remember this is a number and then I'm going to give back key arrow value I could have done that all in one line by just putting this arrow that uh, but I think this is a bit more readable here and then I convert all of that to a map and we have the proper type here we have a map of string to double the other thing that we have to be able to do is the root and this is probably where I should break the video and I'll talk briefly about what this is going to do just like I put an apply method inside of here for building a, uh, a drawing 
the root is a draw transform. So I need to put an apply method inside of the draw transform that will build a draw transform for me. And then I'm going to need to do one in draw text and draw rectangle and draw maze. Okay, so every one of my drawable types is going to need a companion object with an apply method. And there's actually one other caveat that we're going to see when we start writing the code inside of draw transform for how it is that we're actually going to, to switch between those. But we'll come back and we'll play with that in the next video.